Hey guys, welcome to the weekly vlog. Now, I've started the vlog midway through my foundation and one diagonal line of my face looks kind of alright complexion wise and then the other half just looks weird. So I appreciate I look a little bit odd right now and I've got this headband in but I've also got this like scrunchie in my hair so I just look... I just look a little bit weird right now, but I wanted to welcome you guys to this week's weekly vlog. It's currently Monday afternoon and I've got the day off today. I booked it off work because I was in London, like I was down south over the weekend. This foundation's a little bit light for me, I feel like look a little bit weird. I've got the window open right, right now as well, which is why you might be able to hear like bits of rain. But basically I've got today off. I'm off on annual leave because I was down south for my birthday weekend with Ben. We had a wedding on Friday. We also went to the West End to see Lion King, which Ben kindly surprised me with for my birthday, which I was super chuffed with. Like, can't believe he took me to go see Lion King. It was amazing, like really good. If you've not seen it in like the West End and if you like going to the theatre, I would highly recommend because it was just so so clever. I think that's one of the main reasons why I liked it because it was so clever, really well put together. The way they created the animals was just insane. I did not expect it to be like that. I literally did not look at any pictures or anything before I went, so I really just went in with an open mind. I would just I just didn't know what to expect really. I obviously knew the songs, but overall I didn't know what to expect. It was funny as well, which was great. Like it was quite comical in parts and it, it did put a smile on my face. So yeah, it was honestly a magical experience. Oh my god. Literally Actually, look at the rain, it's pelting it down. Okay, you cannot see it on the camera, but oh my god. Ah, look at the rain. Oh my god, this is insane. Literally, all summer it has been lush weather here in England, like proper full on heat wave. And then as soon as it hit my birthday, the weather just went downhill. It just deteriorated massively and we've just had like really really heavy rain since my birthday which is so unfortunate like, anybody who's got a birthday around now like i'm pretty sure you'll be pissed off just like me really so yeah that was my weekend talked about it a little bit i'm gonna have to shut the window out <laughs> talked about the weekend at the end of last week's vlog so you will have briefly known what I'll have just talked about if you watched last week's vlog but if you didn't and you want to know what I got up to on my birthday week I will link last week's weekly vlog down below in the description box so you can go check it out if you want to just got home this morning I've had like a proper chill like I needed to just chill lay down after all the traveling around and stuff but I'm re-energized now I am gonna film a main channel video I also want to start up my blog today I have put a tweet out saying you know, I want to start creating my blog. Quite a few people have liked it, so I feel like now people have liked it, people have seen it, I'm like, oh my god, the pressure's on. I actually do need to start with the blog. I am going to carry on doing my makeup. I won't chat to you for too long. I don't want to bore you at the beginning of the vlog. And I will catch up with you guys when my makeup is done. I've spent the majority of the day just chilling out. I nipped to my grandma's. Um, basically, I haven't told you this earlier in the vlog because I just, I don't really want to show you my foot. But basically, over the weekend, when we went to the wedding, my foot got bitten by an insect. So, I mean, I'm not going to show you it, but I'll show you that it's got like this towel over it. It's basically like an ice cold towel. Like that towel has been soaked in ice cold water, so it's really nice and cold on my foot. But basically, I got bitten. It was obviously like a poisonous thing. So it's bitten my foot, put poison in my foot and all my foot started swelling up over the weekend so when I was in London I looked down at my foot throughout the um, throughout the Lion King production and I was like oh my god it's literally swelling up like a balloon and it's so hot and it doesn't hurt it's just unbelievably hot and it doesn't look good and I, I'm struggling to walk on it a little bit that might sound super but when I've got like a bit of a balloon foot I'm like limping around a little bit so yeah I nipped to my grandparents because my granddad was uh, a pharmacist so I thought I could go to him and get a bit of like advice so i'm currently on tablets and putting cream on my foot which it all sounds bizarre i think like because i've been to bali this year i went to thailand last year where i've had like injections for these deadly bugs and stuff and then all i did was go to a wedding down south and i get bitten it's like oh my god so yeah i'm currently treating that at the moment um, i've had a tablet and whatever which just sounds stupid but i've got to like keep 
tabs on my foot this week, which it's just another thing, isn't it? It's just another injury. So yeah, um, that's the current situation. I am gonna head to sleep now, possibly watch a couple of YouTube videos because I'm behind. I need to catch up my YouTube videos and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Night guys. Hey guys, good evening. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I have just finished showering and like straightening my hair. I'm currently just straightening my hair in the viewfinder. Uh, but I actually spent all my evening in the doctors like before I started this vlog, like before I got home, I went in the shower and stuff. I went to the doctors about my foot and I'm on antibiotics now for a week. I've got to take four a day and they're bloody massive antibiotics. But yeah, that's basically what I've done this evening. My foot's a little bit worse for wear, but I'm okay. But obviously because my foot's a little bit dodgy, I can't go running, I can't really go on a walk. And that's what I like to do on an evening. When I get home from work, I like going out just on a walk or going for a run or something. Obviously I started the Couch to 5K app, which is where you get up to running like 5K three times a week. That's just not happening this week because I can't really with my foot. So yeah. It's delaying me a little bit with my exercise regime. It's just the way it is, I guess. Can't help it. Um, it's just a little bit unfortunate, that's all. So, yeah. Oh my god, I actually nipped to my friend's house last night. I didn't vlog it because it was like a really quick visit. I was only there for like 40 minutes, something like that. I thought I'd just show you what she got me. Okay, so... She got me this cute card, oh my god, I actually love it. It says on it, here's hoping your birthday is filled with love, laughter and happiness. Not to mention plenty of scrumptious cake, which I thought was a really cute card. So that's the card. I like looking at cards, like I'm actually interested in cards. So I thought I'd show you the card. She got me this cute coffee takeout cup, which is, I think this is glass or pot or something, because it's quite heavy. But it's from Paper Chase and it says, make coffee, not war. I actually love it. I'm going to take this to work and stuff. I think this will be really good in winter when I want like a hot drink to walk to the station with and stuff so i got that as well and then she also got me this revolution highlighter it's the rainbow highlighter and it looks so pretty like the shimmer it looks really nice oh my god you cannot see it very well there at all but look it's quite silvery when you mix all the colors together if you can see but i'm really excited to try that so yeah she got me a couple of little cute bits oh my god she also got me a bracelet um which i've got on right now looks like this it's super cute and it goes with my others really nice so that's what she got me i always like looking at people's birthday presents i like having a little nosy so yeah that's all that's happened basically i am just going to upload my 20th birthday vlog which was a bit of a weekly vlog from last week really so i'm going to upload that let you guys know on instagram and then i don't really know what i'm going to do i think i might edit uh, one of the videos that i filmed yesterday that's what i'm doing that's my little update of this evening nothing exciting has happened guys i'm just coming out of the house getting in the car because i'm off on a little drive somewhere a little bit random actually oh my god i don't know where to put you put you there did i tell you guys that i got a new tripod i don't think i did it's a really good tripod though it's just perfect so i'm off on a little drive oh my god it's all going on but basically i am going to a show home the show home is not going to be open so you might be like why is she going to a show home but i'm basically just going to drive down to see if the show home is there like i don't know if the show home is open or not uh, and the reason i'm going down is because me and ben love going to look around show homes i love going with my mates like i just love show homes i just think they're it i love walking around and pretending that i live there for a bit so i'm gonna drive down and see if it's there so then when ben comes down next weekend ben comes down ben comes up to mine next weekend we can go if it's open i don't actually have much hope i don't think that it will be open but i think it's worth a little drive I'm going to see i really don't know if this is gonna work but i'm gonna try put my camera up so then i can just do a bit of a drive with me do i need my lights on no okay oh i really don't know if this is gonna work i'm driving really slow because i don't want the camera to flip around but basically nipped into paper chase today because i started my blog like i've paid for a domain and stuff so i paid for the blog so obviously i want to get like a little bit organized with what i'm posting and stuff so i wanted to go into paper chase to buy like a planner 
so I could get organised with what blog posts I'm going to be doing and also what videos I'm going to put up as well. So I wanted to go get some like organisational stuff So and I got the cutest notepad today, like cutest notepad ever so I'm going to show you that when I get home. I think you'll be, I think you'll be impressed with it. Um, I'm coming really slowly around this corner. I think I'm going to actually pull over and take my camera down. I'm so cautious that the camera is going to fall so yeah you guys I'm going to pull over. Okay, I'm going to take the camera down. I've drove for like half a second, but I will let you guys know if the show home is there. This is a really random drive, but anyway, I'm going to see if it's open. So yeah, catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, it was a disaster. There's not a show home there. I went right up the road and then there was no like place to turn. So I just reversed all the way down the road. Totally not okay. Totally maybe illegal. So, I mean, yeah, I don't really know where I am. This estate that's that I'm on now is so roundabout it, literally about 50,000 mini roundabouts. And I personally hate mini roundabouts, like I think it's so. Yards Sorry. The roundabout. Sorry. I think mini roundabouts are really annoying, and I always forget that they're there, which is not great. This trip has been, not only has it been unsuccessful in that there's not a show home, but I've also managed to make perhaps an illegal driving move, which was reversing all the way down a main road, so. Brilliant, brilliant times my loves. I've just pulled over so I can like finish off this vlog clip. But yeah, oh I've got a text from my grandma. Ah, I love my grandma. I'm gonna head home. In fact, I might go to my grandma's now actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my grandma's. Then I'll go home and show you guys my notepad and stuff. Buzzing also, oh my God, while I'm sat here, no point indicating, I wanted to thank you guys for the comments on my latest vlog. So I think it was my birthday vlog. I had so many lovely, not only comments, but personal messages from that video as well. Like thanking me for my videos, saying that they feel like we're mates. I've had so many messages like, I don't even feel like I'd need to meet you in real life to know that we'd get on. Like. I already know that we got on already and that's just so nice because I think one thing about me is oh my god I feel like this is a heart to heart in the middle of my car oh my god someone's just come out of the house and they can see me with a camera it's really awkward smile and wave boys smile and wave hi yeah I'm sat here yep hi ah oh, this is so awkward oh my god there's more people hi anyway wanted to say like it's really nice that you guys feel like you can relate to me if that makes sense like I am just I'm just proper normal do you know what I mean like there's no front with me like I feel like when I watch a lot of youtubers like vloggers and stuff especially like with summer in the city that's just gone like when I've watched people's vlogs I feel like some youtubers are there because they know that their like fans are gonna be there and they just went for I don't know they went to feel good about themselves whereas I watched other youtubers and they went to genuinely meet people and to have a good time with them and you know like meet their viewers and stuff and I think you could really see a difference and I want you guys to know that I mean obviously I'm a tiny child channel anyway but you guys mean a lot to me and every single one of you does like it's not as if oh I've got 11,000 subscribers and that's just the number like I know so many of you like I have never met you but like I know your username I know a little bit about you like we've talked before we've chatted about stuff and so many of you guys come to me on like a personal level and ask for like advice about everything about life and it's so nice to think that I am there for you guys and you know you can come to me like if you've never come to me before and you feel like I'd be a good person to chat to about something then just send me a message because I feel like I'm always on my phone anyway so I'll probably reply to you within like an hour but anyway I'm gonna get off because cars are looking at me with evil eyes as I've pulled over halfway like in the middle of the road anyway yeah okay I'm gonna set off now go to my grandma's and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit tonight for a stationary haul whoop, whoop. okay guys so I've just got home and I thought I'd show you guys what I have been buying i got this cute notepad like oh my god it's literally so cute it's, so it says passions and plans on it it's quite big like i don't know if you can see how big it is on the camera screen so you open it up and it's and it's got red on the first page and then the pages inside are lined with a margin and i just love this like it's so nice and it's got so many pages like it's genuinely a big book and i just really really liked it so that cost 10 pounds and i got this as well which hang on i'm going to turn you around and show you this way so it's this little monthly planner now i got this because i just thought it looked really cute it was three pounds fifty and it's like a mini monthly planner so i don't know if you can see too well but so it's got like a grid on and that is like monday to sunday and obviously you can do it for each month so they are are they sticky notes yeah they're sticky notes so what i might do is when i'm planning my blog posts and my videos and stuff in this book i will put in a little sticker with the dates on i think that'll be a really cool idea so yeah i got that and then they also did the 
these in week planners so they had these for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday which is really cool as well and, and the week ones were only £3 so that's quite good so yeah that's what I got from Paper Chase and then I also bought this which is from Primark and it's the bronze instant glow instant tan gel so it's wash off and I got medium to dark this is what it looks like and obviously as you know I fake tan my face all the time and I wanted to try something different like I've used the number 7 stuff for so long and don't get me wrong like I love it I will always love it but you know you just want to try a little bit of something different so I thought I'd get this and because it's a mini one I thought oh, I'll just try it it was £1.50 and then I also got these from Primark as well I'll probably do like a big Primark haul and show you everything that I've bought over Primark over the past couple of weeks I did pick up these which are the 20 LED peg lights so this is what they look like so the little fairy lights with the pegs on because obviously with my wall grid which is this I don't actually know if I've shown you my wall grid recently but, but I have updated it a little bit so this is what it looks like at the moment um I've got a couple of birthday cards on there and then a couple of pictures but the fairy lights not all of them work so these ones along here have conked out and then a few up there so it doesn't look that great which is why I've bought the peg lights because I thought they'd work well they'd work for a start um oh my god have I got mascara underneath my eyes I've literally had mascara under my eyes the whole time so sorry about that my loves but yeah I think I might reorganize my wall grid and put some new pictures on there and stuff I actually need to order some more photos from the weekend and stuff I've not put an order in on La 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 for quite a while now so yeah I need to get on with doing that really but guys my camera just conked out just run out of battery obviously because I ordered another vlog camera like this is my new one um let me know if you can tell the difference in quality by the way I don't know if you can I certainly can when I'm filming it but I don't know if you're actually going to be able to like on the finished vlog product but yeah because I got another vlog camera I've got another charger and another battery so if one battery runs out I can easily just put another one in so that's really good but anyway yeah I'm going to charge my camera it's actually like 9 p.m and I'm, so I think I'm going to ring Ben chat to him for a bit catch up on our days and then head to sleep so I will see you again tomorrow Happy shopping, right, my love. Oh, laddie, it's bright. Going out shopping. It's not, it's not as exciting as what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, she's going clothes shopping. We're gonna get a haul. It's gonna be so exciting. You couldn't be more wrong. I'm off to Asda, uh, and I'm off to do a little bit of food shopping. Oh my god, it's just started to rain. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to Asda because my life is so exciting. I'm actually wearing denim dungarees, black denim dungarees, and then a denim jacket. So I'm rocking the denim on denim look right now. I just want to get some healthy food. I want to get some snacks. I want to get. Oh, sorry. It's Friday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I haven't actually been too well over the past couple of days. You know, I've had my foot, which has not been great. I'm on antibiotics. I'm still taking them right now. So my foot has been a problem. I've come on my period this week, which you totally don't need to know. But if you're a girl, then you'll appreciate how I'm feeling. Like I've just had such a bad stomachache for about three days running. So that's not been great. I've got an ulcer, so I'm on the Bonjella hype. And yeah. It's just not been the best week health wise so the only thing that i vlogged yesterday was me redoing my word grid word grid wall grid and i basically just updated the way it looked in fact i'm very tempted to go to primark as opposed to asda because i need to get some more fairy lights and stuff i think i might head to a shopping center near me in fact yeah i've just made a last minute decision that i'm gonna head to primark rather than asda um, just because I need some more fairy lights for the wall grid. Okay, you guys, so I've just really quickly pulled over because I had to move quickly while I was driving because there was this kid on a bike in the middle of the road and then there was a car behind me and it was just a bit of a cup of all. Basically, literally just changed my mind, and which is good because I wouldn't have thought to go to Primark if I hadn't have put on the vlog camera and spoke to you guys. So, so I'm going to nip to Primark. I'm just going to get some more fairy lights for my wall grid. That is the current situation. Again, apologies that I didn't vlog yesterday, but I'm sure you guys will understand. I feel like this might be a bit of a long weekly vlog anyway. With. I feel like there's quite a fair amount of me sitting in this car talking to you so yes I'm gonna drive there right now listen to some music in fact should we see what's on right now oh oh my god I feel like a weirdo now people are looking at me right I'm off my loves I'm off okay hello my lovelies I am home now. I've got home from shopping. Oh, oh my god. Do you want to see my Primark bag that I got just now? Ugh. 
it's filled to the brim. I bought so much stuff. I think I spent £72 altogether, which is not that bad, but I got a big ass bag. I got a big ass bag. And you know you've gone hard when you get a big ass bag. So yeah, I've just taken my makeup off with the classic Garnier Micellar Water. And I was actually just listening to Troy Savan. Never listened to his songs a lot. Like I just always knew that I kind of liked his music. I've never like gone full on Troy Sivan fan. But I've just listened to his song, The Good Side. It's really, really good. I really like it. It's quite slow and chill. But my favorite type of music is slow and chilled. Like I just love it. And also, oh my God, the 1975 have released a new song. I think they're bringing out a new album pretty soon. Like I don't know when it's coming, but they keep releasing songs bit by bit. And they've just released a new one called Two Time, Two Time, Two Time. And it's so good. And if you've not seen the music video, be sure to go watch it. It's so good. I have only watched the video because I've got Spotify. Like I paid for Spotify, so the music video was released on Spotify. And um, it says up at the top, like watch the new video from the 1975 only on Spotify. So I think if you've not got Spotify, you can't see it. Like it's not on YouTube or anything, which is one massive perk of Spotify. Like I love seeing new releases first. I feel like I look a little bit blue, like the lighting's not that great, but I'm an avatar for the night. Just started writing my first blog post. My blog is coming along nicely. If I've not mentioned to you guys before in this vlog, which I think I have, um, I officially bought a the name name domain dom 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 name i'm sure that's right so yeah i've got like the official blog like domain if you like and that's basically just the name of the website like whatever.com so i bought that so i pay for my website name now which is so cool so i'm gonna keep you guys updated with creating the blog i've started it on wordpress if you guys are interested at all let me know in the comments then i can like talk you guys through it and i've had a blog on wordpress before but it was me and chloe who did it so i'm not like a massive wordpress whiz i know extremely basic stuff so i'm pretty much learning from scratch i'm trying to like teach myself how to use it which is is eventful it, it's fun i love learning how to like use new stuff though like photoshop i've learned how to do so much stuff on photoshop at work and i just love it like i love learning new stuff i think a part of that is because i'm not at university and i feel like a lot of people who are my age are at university like learning every single day and i loved learning that is one thing about school that i did enjoy and i, I did like filling my brain up every single day with new stuff and i think i do miss that and i think a part of me feels like because everyone else is doing that i need to be as well and it sounds a bit stupid because you don't need to be doing what everyone else is doing but in my job luckily i do learn a lot of new things every single day so it's really really good anyway back to the point yeah i've started creating my blog um i've not got like a cover photo or anything keep you guys up to date with how the blog's going it shouldn't be too long until it's actually live i just wanted to get a few blog posts written before putting it live so then you guys have got some content to read but anyway yeah i think i'm just gonna hop in the shower right now just wash my body I need to like properly cleanse my face as well and then it's friday so oh my god i've not even said happy friday happy friday yeah i think this evening is just consistent of chilling i'm not seeing ben this weekend the only plan i've got is tomorrow i am getting my hair cut i'm just getting it cut a little bit shorter don't know how short i'm gonna have it done but getting that done tomorrow at about one o'clock and then tomorrow evening tea time ish sort of time me and my family are going over to my auntie's who lives about a 25 minute drive away from me and i'm actually driving us so i'm pretty excited to drive actually i feel a bit excited but aside from that over the whole weekend i've not got anything planned which feels lush um, i'm just gonna concentrate on getting getting some blog posts written, maybe filming a video tomorrow if I've got chance. And yeah, I just want to have a super chilled weekend. Anyway, I'm going to hop in the shower, stop rambling and see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning right now and I'm going to make some eggs for breakfast because I've got time. You girls actually got time to make some eggs because she's not in a rush to get to work. So let the cooking commence. So I'm not really sure what I want with the eggs. We've not got any bread in the house, so I can't have toast. We've got beans, but I don't really have fancy beans right now. I appreciate this is quite boring. For anybody who's just started watching my channel, not all my vlogs are about eggs and beans. So here is my current situation. This egg went to pot a little bit. I think I might just crack the other yolks as well, and then they'll bread out too. Hey, there we go. It's really weird that I like my eggs like this, but I honestly do. Morning, started the vlog. Hello, is, morning. Is there anything you want to say to the vlog? I've had some requests saying that you get more involved in the vlog, so... I need to be more involved, are you? Mm. Hello, it's Saturday morning, I'm just watching a bit of the telly. Now, my dad is an absolutely massive Star Wars fan, and Star I Wars. watched a Star Wars last week. No, I didn't. I watched Return of the Sith. Uh, I thought it was alright. Revenge of... What did I say? Return. 
Oh, Revenge of the Sith. Okay. Terrible film. It's all, all good. Yeah. So you've got no nothing really to say apart from gin. Oh yes, yeah, so tonight this evening, um, we're going to my auntie's house for my cousin's birthday slash just a bit of a gathering really. I think it's a bit of an excuse for people to get a bit drunk. Oh my god, look at my eggs. Shit. Why have they gone like this already? But yeah, we're going to my auntie's that way, and I'm driving. I'm de designated driver. Let's cut. So yeah, that means you're allowed drink. to drink, which I'm sure you'll be thoroughly pleased about. Just getting my salt out. I don't have just any old salt. I have pink Himalayan salt, and it looks like this. It's such a cool bottle. And I don't actually really know what the difference is. What's that? Oh, is this the gin that you're having? Rosé, rose gin. Have you had it before? Rosé, premium gin from Espanol. Oh, you actually got it from Spain? Yes. It's really there, look, it says it. Oh, look at the excitement in his face. It's just, <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Too much. Your uh, man and then is I'll... a mad man. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Then. So I always have pepper as well. So a bit of salt and pepper on my eggs. And then you're ready to go. And I sometimes have tomato ketchup, but I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> What? Okay guys, so I've just got ready to go out. So I've got my makeup done. I've only got a tiny bit of makeup on, but this is what I'm wearing today. So I've got this jumper on from Primark, which is actually what I bought yesterday, which should technically be in that bag right there for my Primark haul, but I just couldn't help but wear it because I just love it. Like I love the colour. I'm obsessed. And then I've just got my Topshop Jamie jeans on, which are super comfortable. And then I've got this bag actually, which I've not shown you. Let me show you it now. So it's from Topshop. I needed one that was practical. This top bit comes over like this and this is what it looks like so it's a really really good size it's perfect for work it's perfect for going out shopping which is what I'm doing now I'm going to return one of the things that I got from Primark and swap it for something else because I do want to film a Primark haul this weekend I actually did film some main channel videos on Monday but I'm just not happy with them I just can't be bothered sitting wasting my time editing them when I'm actually not that happy with the way they've turned out anyway I'm just gonna refilm a Primark haul I'm just gonna redo it so yeah I've actually got a chance to go to Primark and get something else this morning so that's what I'm gonna do but yeah this is today's outfit I'll probably just bob on some like my fake Birkenstocks or something so I'm gonna nip to Primark right now in the car I'm gonna drive down and then I'm gonna go get my hair cut now I don't actually know how it's gonna work out for timing because 25 to 11 now and my hair cut is not until 1 so I don't think I'm gonna be like two hours at Primark but yeah that's the current situation I'm gonna take some Bongello with me because I've got an ulcer and yeah I'm gonna run out of the house now go to Primark Hello my loves, so I've just got back in the car, I've just been to Primark. I actually ended up nipping to Sainsbury's, sorry it's so so hot, I'm gonna have to like wind the window down. Oh my god, my dancing is so cringy, I love it. Yeah, I nipped to Primark, took the pair of jeans that I wanted to take back back, and then I nipped to Sainsbury's and I got some healthy snacks because I didn't manage to go to Asda yesterday, so I nipped to Sainsbury's just now. I'm gonna nip home now, probably grab a little bit of lunch. It's about half 11, which is a little bit early for lunch, but I need something before I go to the hairdressers. So yeah, that's the current situation. Oh my god, I've literally never drove this way before in my entire life. Go on, love. Go for it. Right, you guys. I am going to have to, like, put down the camera in a minute because uh, I'm concentrating. But you are balancing quite well. Remarkably well, actually. Oh, my God. This could be the setup for when I do a drive with me. Amazing. Right, you guys. I am going to love you and leave you because I want to sing. I want something just like this. Okay, you guys, so I've just got home from my haircut and it's literally so short. Look at it. I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to tie this up, which is a little concern of mine because I love shoving my hair up. <gasps> oh my God, all the back of my hair falls down. I looked at pictures of me the other day. In fact, let me show you. This picture popped up on my like time hop on Snapchat the other day. Oh my God, let me show you how long my hair is. So it is a selfie, so it's a little bit cringy, but this is what it is. You can see there, look. Look how long my hair is. Now look at it. Oh my god, it's so short. Yeah, I just wanted something a little bit more easy to manage. 
So, yeah, this is my new hair. I've just come in. I'm just sorting out my room. I've put, like, all my notepads that were on my bedside table onto my bed. And I'm just going to sort through them, see what I want to keep, see what I want to chuck away, if I want to put any in, like, somewhere else. I always, like, put everything on my bedside table or in the drawers of my bedside table. And it just ends up really full. So, I'm just sorting everything out. Yeah, oh, my God. These photos will make you lol. So, I have got an email through from La La Lab saying that there's 25% off everything for 48 hours so I looked at my previous La La Lab orders and I looked at them for this uh, wall grid anyway but I found this picture of me and Ben and this is when we went to Stonehenge in fact let me just show you so it's this picture and it's when we went to Stonehenge and Ben just looks beautiful like he looks so gorgeous in this photograph and then look at me I just I mean it just says it all this is literally like so when I found it, I was like, oh my god, I'm keeping that out. I've literally looked at it every single day since I got it out. It's so cute. <laughs> I look like such a weirdo. Yeah, there's some really cute photographs. And I mean, I absolutely love this one. This one's at Stonehenge as well, where he's just hugging me. It's just so nice to look through old photographs. I actually started writing a blog post the other evening. I've just been, like, getting together blog post ideas. Like, nothing is set in stone of what's going to go on my blog. The only thing that I know 100% is going to go on my blog is an introduction post, which literally just says, hi, my name's Leah, basically. No, it actually does go into a little bit more depth than hi my name's Leah but yeah I've been getting together get, <laughs> I've been getting together some ideas for the blog and one of them was top tips on how to make a long distance relationship work and I put together my top five tips and they came so easy to my brain like thought of them super quick but I don't know whether you guys would actually want to read that or not I don't know whether you'd enjoy it I feel like for me when I wasn't in a long distance relationship I always found it interesting to read about them like just in case I don't know if you guys will think the same but one of the things on there is to take as many photographs when you're together as you can which I do I take so many photographs of me and Ben it's crazy like I've always got my phone out taking photos which might seem a little bit crazy but I just don't want to miss anything because I love looking back at pictures and, and even like my close friends who I see a lot and my family I still like to take a lot of photos because I just think they're so important so yeah anyway I'm going to stop talking about photographs and I want to start editing this vlog oh I also might get a coffee as well that's a good shout Okay, you guys, so I've just got all ready to go to my auntie's house. I'm wearing this leopard print blouse, which is from Topshop. I'll actually get my dad to show you my outfit. I don't even want to show you my dad's outfit. Look at my dad's top. Are you ready? What? I, are you, do you feel comfortable in that? Yeah, it. He's got shiny bits on it. I don't know what to say anymore. Do you want to just quickly do my outfit of the day? Blouse is from Topshop. Do you like it, dad? Nice top. Yeah. And then these are my Jamie jeans from Topshop as well. Oh my God, I'm all Topshop. And then I don't know what shoes to put on. Top shop. Yeah, should we go pick some shoes? I need to get some shoes on. I think I might wear these. These are like mule type shoes. These are from Topshop as well. These are quite old. I got them last. The actual story of these shoes is that when I went to Winter Wonderland at Christmas time in 2017, my feet were aching really bad because I was wearing like heeled boots and my feet were just aching. They were like, I think I got blisters as well. They were just in so much pain. So I ran into Topshop with Ben and bought some new shoes, which were these. And I said like, oh, I'll wait until summer slash autumn to start wearing them. And it is summer slash autumn, so yeah. Woohoo! Ready to go. I don't think I'm gonna vlog when I'm there. Wait, oh my god, I've not actually shown you, but these are the roses that Ben got me, the progression photo. They're a little bit withered now, but look how big they are. They've grown like so big. They're huge. Anyway, yeah, I will catch up with you guys after my aunties. Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. So, I didn't vlog last night after going to my auntie's house. We got home at about 11-ish and I literally just conked out. I just went to bed, so didn't get a chance to pick up the vlog camera. But here I am, it's Sunday morning and I've got a coffee. It's actually just dawned on me, really random. I don't actually think I've ever shown you this top this t-shirt because I ordered it thinking that I was going to do a haul like a big pretty little thing haul but I never filmed it and now I can't really remember what I ordered and blah 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 but anyway but this is the top I actually put it on an Instagram picture which got quite a lot of engagement I guess and it's just like an oversized t-shirt so it's a bit like a dress and it just says on it weekend tees and Beverly Hills established 2012 so yeah I've been wearing it all the time I wear it to bed quite a lot of the time but then if I want to go out in it I'll just pop on some cycling shorts and go out 
in this and some cycling shorts and it works really well so yeah I just thought I would let you guys know that this is a new top and I've not properly shown you it before I think it was about £15 from Pretty Little Thing I think I'm gonna get ready and film a Primark haul I do actually want to use this video like I really want to try it I want to make sure I feel comfortable in the video and then actually edit and upload it because the ones that I filmed on Monday like last Monday at the start of the week I wasn't really happy with so I'm not gonna put them live Okay, that coffee is amazing. So I actually put all my makeup in this makeup bag from Primark to go down to Ben's with last weekend for the wedding that I was going to. So I've got a ton of makeup in there, but then all the makeup that I didn't take, because I took like full coverage makeup, like I took my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, because that's full coverage. I took a full coverage foundation and stuff like that. So all my lighter coverage stuff is stacked up in this makeup bag, which is a Ted Baker makeup bag, which is really cute. I think I've had this for like a good year or so, but this is full of makeup as well so I really want to like put all my makeup into one bag and just have one makeup bag but it's just finding the time and effort to do that and you know what I've still not cleaned my makeup brushes look how used they are I really want to do that today I might write a list of things that I've got to do today and then organize myself from there I'm gonna obviously have to do my makeup and then wash all my makeup brushes but yeah I definitely need to do that like oh my god look at my eye brushes they're so used. Some of them look quite white, but they're the ones that I don't really use as much. Oh my god. I really want to actually... Oh my god, I've not actually spoke to you about this, but I really want to order some new makeup brushes, like some, some ones that I've never tried before. I really want to try some Zoeva makeup brushes, because I've heard so much about them. Either that or... Are they called Sigma? Sigma brushes? I think they get a lot of hype on YouTube as well. Since I've not really been watching too much makeup videos recently, I haven't really had any proper recommendations for so long. I think I just need to watch a couple of makeup youtubers get some tips and then order some i just i don't know what the best ones are anymore because i used to be super into makeup and enjoy looking at makeup and watching youtube videos about makeup in the past i'd say year or so i've just got more into vlogs and if there's going to be anything like beauty or fashion related i would always choose a fashion video like i love watching hauls and stuff in terms of makeup i've just not really been on on point so yeah if any of you guys have got any recommendations of some good uh, makeup brushes, that would be highly appreciated. I would love to know because I just, I don't know, I just feel a bit out of it with the makeup at the moment. With the makeup, with makeup. So yes. Oh my god, this necklace as well. You might see me like fiddling with it a little bit. This is actually the necklace that I bought to go to the wedding with because I wore all pink. So I got a little pink necklace, which is really cute. And I've not taken it off since. And I'm not a jewellery gal at all. Jewel <laughs> I said that's so weird, didn't I? But I'm not a jewellery gal at all. I never wear jewellery, really, ever. I'll try to avoid it because I just find it a bit annoying. I've obviously got like my bracelets and stuff, but I don't find these annoying at all. Like these are literally pieces of string. And then this is reminds me of Ben, so it means something to me. So I always have them on. And plus I think black and white go with a lot so that's why I always have them on but in anything else like a ring anything I just would never wear it I don't know if any of you guys are the same but but I've just not taken this necklace off because I quite liked it obviously it doesn't really go with a t-shirt but it goes really nice with like blouses and stuff and that leopard print blouse in fact you can't see it in the background all my background is just black you know what people have commented on my videos and been like how do you get all your background to look so dark and you to look so bright I'm like literally I've got no idea I don't know how this happens it just does but anyway my leopard print blouse that I wore yesterday is in the background and when I wore that this necklace this necklace looked really nice with it but I don't really think it goes with many of my t-shirts <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop talking rambling on at you I am gonna do my makeup get ready to film a video possibly write down a to-do list of today as well yeah just get a little bit organized speak to you guys in a bit Hey guys, so I finished doing my makeup and I'm just in the process of cleaning my makeup brushes. Now I'm bringing you into the bathroom because this is where I clean my makeup brushes. I've already started so I'll show you what I've done so far. This is my little pile of makeup brushes that I've done. I tried to clean my beauty blenders um, and they still don't look that clean. I cleaned them with this which is like the official beauty blender cleaner and it's okay but obviously it doesn't make them like spit spot, it just cleans them a little bit and then to actually clean my brushes I use the Real Techniques brush cleansing gel with the Real Techniques like mitt so I'm gonna find it super hard to show you the process of how I do it because obviously my hands are gonna be all wet so I just thought I would try Try put you here. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Okay, so you can see my sink a little bit. I get the mitt like this, so it's just got a tiny bit of water pooling around in it. I put it in the sink. Then I put a little bit of this Real Techniques gel in there. So I literally just put a dollop in like that. And then I get my brush, whichever one I decide. So I'm gonna clean this big powder brush. I hold up the mitt and then I just swirl my brush around. So because this is quite a big brush, I'll probably need 
just a little bit more water and then I just massage it around in the mitt and get all the makeup out so as you can see a ton of foundation or, or bronzer or whatever comes like spilling out of the mitt because obviously it's getting a proper good clean and yeah this is how I do it and then I just keep going over it like putting more water on the mitt and then keep brushing it through it until the liquid that's pouring out of the brush is like clear white because then it shows that there's no makeup left in there so yeah I just keep going and going and going until the makeup brush is clean So then when the brush is clean, I just I rinse it under the tap. I squeeze all the water out so that it's as dry as possible. And then I separate all the hairs so it looks like a fan brush, like this. And then I literally just put it on the pile of brushes, like so. So I hope that helps a little bit, but that is basically what I do to clean a makeup brush. And like, for example, that powder brush that I've just cleaned, loads of hairs fell out of the brush. So like, if you look in my sink, you can see these specks of hair. And I always think when a brush, when it starts to mull, I think that's a sign of a bad brush. Like I personally hate putting my powder on or whatever and brush hairs coming out. It's like, oh, thanks. I can't even remember the last time I've cleaned my brushes. Like, I think it was longer than what it should be. Anyway, if you guys don't clean your brushes that often, don't feel bad about it because I don't either. Um, really bad for it. Hey guys, I'm on a blooming coffee run. So I just put on the coffee machine in the house and it just absolutely died on me. Like the so you put your pouch in and that's like full of coffee powder and then that somehow makes the actual coffee and whatever i don't really know exactly how it's done but basically it didn't do the job and it just put powder everywhere so powder were coming out and i was like oh my god mum the coffee machine is breaking but i really want a coffee so my mum is fixing the coffee machine right now and i am going to run out to a coffee shop near us yeah so that's the current situation i'm just gonna drive up now and go grab us some lattes because oh my god what a disaster so yeah i'm gonna drive up to a coffee shop now because i'm so i mean i could just make an instant coffee but it's the weekend and i want to treat myself to a nice coffee so i'm gonna go get me and mum a nice latte and yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a bit when I hello darling hi mr frog he's so weird isn't he so I just got back from getting a coffee. I've got my takeout coffee inside. And my dad was like, Leah, it's a frog. So I was like, what? And there's a legit a frog in our garden. Look at him. He's not even flinching. I'm so close to him. Oh my God as well, guys. Here is my collection of brushes that are currently just out to dry. They're actually feeling quite dry already. So yeah, I'm currently just answering a couple of questions over on my Instagram. That new thing that's a bit like a QA and a where people can ask you questions. It's really good and I, you know, I absolutely love it. And people go to town when they ask me questions. Like every time I put it on my story, loads of you guys ask me questions and I love it. Like keep the questions coming because I absolutely love sitting and answering them. So so thank you guys so much for asking so many questions on my Instagram like much appreciated and if you don't follow me on Instagram I'll put my handle on the screen so that you can go ahead and follow me I'm actually gonna properly film a video now I'm gonna film my primark haul because I've faffed around all morning whether it be cleaning my makeup brushes or getting in the shower or just faffing around so I'm actually gonna film the video now with no distractions and then I think later on me and my mum are gonna go see Mamma Mia 2 which if you've watched my weekly vlogs over the past couple of weeks you will already know that I've already seen Mamma Mia 2 I went with Bobby Joe the other week I went the day that it actually came out which must be like two or three weeks ago now uh, i'm gonna go see it again with my mum because my mum's not seen it and she loved the first one so i was just like oh my god well I'll, I'll happily go see it again so i think that's what's happening a bit later on and then other than that i've not really got many plans so yeah that's the current situation yes i'll catch with you guys in a bit hey guys so it's a little bit later on i have finished filming my primark haul and i'm just gonna take off my makeup so i'm just gonna use the usual stuff and take off my makeup i'm gonna head to the cinema with my mum. I don't really see the point of wearing a full face of makeup to go to the cinema so I'm gonna take off my makeup and go like super chilled out. The film starts in like 45 minutes so we've got a little bit of time before we have to set off but I just wanted to come on and end the weekly vlog because I won't be doing anything when I get home. I'll just be chilling out and probably editing this vlog anyway so yeah I wanted to come on 
film the last clip of the week. I feel like it's been quite a full, like I vlogged pretty much every single, I think the only day I didn't vlog was Thursday properly, but I did vlog a clip. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this vlog. If you've made it this far, then congratulations. Thank you so much for all the support on all the previous vlogs. And if you comment or like this video, thank you so, so much. I will see you again next week for another weekly vlog. And then hopefully the Primark haul that I filmed today should be up at some point either this week or next week. So I'll see you in that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.